Welcome to Sada Flow. I'm Kayla, and this is my dog Leela. We're here in the beautiful Henry Cow State Park in Santa Cruz, California, and today we're going to be doing a yoga practice for heart opening. This is a gentle practice. We'll be using a lot of breathing, a lot of deep breaths, and a little bit longer of holds just to get into our bodies, feel good, and breathe. So you don't need any special equipment, just you, yourself, and we'll get started. We'll begin today in a nice, comfortable seat. So sitting comfortably tall, roll your shoulders down your back and just feel the shoulders draw together and your heart open. We'll do that a couple times. Inhale, drawing the shoulders up and exhale, sliding them back, letting them release down. And once more here on your own, inhale and exhale. This next time that you inhale, bring your hands to your knees, draw your heart open. Good, and exhale, curl in, round your spine, arch the back, feel the back body open. Breathing in, lift the heart forward between your shoulders, big breath in, maybe even tilt the chin up. Exhale, curl in, round your spine, breathe back of body. But just like that, inhale, breath, lifting the heart. Good, last one here. Exhale, curl it in. Good, now as you come forward, I'm gonna take some circles here. So you're gonna inhale, draw your heart forward, and then exhale, circle around and back. And it's okay if your breath is different than mine, just letting your breath be your guide as you take some circles here. I'm getting some nice synovial fluid, just moving, spreading through the joints. Really nice. Take your time. This next time that you come back through center, we'll switch the direction of the circles. So inhaling, drawing it forward. And exhale, rounding, circling back. And just moving how it feels good to you. Doesn't matter, you know, what it looks like on the outside, but just noticing here what's feeling good. This next time that you come back through center, pausing, inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky, big breath in. And then exhale, gather your hands in home to your heart and just connecting in here with your heart, whatever that means for you here today. Mm. And when you're ready, fluttering open through your eyes, coming forward into hands and knees, finding tabletop position. And just taking a couple little rocks of the hips, so rocking them forward, maybe side to side or forward and back. And again, just noticing what's feeling good to you and feeling your breath, right? Lead the way. So finding hands and knees. When you're ready, inhale, open through your heart. And exhale here, curl in, round your spine. So we'll take a few more cat-cows now here in hands and knees and just letting the breath guide you. No rush, no race. Noticing the front of your heart open as you inhale. And the back of your heart open as you exhale. And this next time that you draw your heart forward, we're going to walk the hands all the way forward, coming into puppy dog pose. <laughs> 
Resting the forehead down to the ground. And this is Leela's pose. <laughs> so feeling the heart soften. It's towards the earth like water. Breathing into the heart. Really nice. Maybe letting the heart soften down a layer or two deeper. And you know, just inviting this playfulness, you know, of a puppy into this shape. That innocence, that playfulness. Really nice. And as you're ready, take your time. Walk your hands back in. We're going to curl round the heart, round the spine, and pause here, gazing in towards the navel. Press into your palms. Feel the back of the heart open. Mm, really nice. And as you inhale here, draw the heart forward. Exhale, breath. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. So we'll take a little movement here. Bending one knee. The other. When you're ready. Maybe shifting your hips, swaying the hips a little side to side. Good. Just noticing what feels good for you. And finding center, press into your palms, spread the shoulders, get really long through the spine. Stretch your sit bones up and away from your fingertips. Take a deep breath in. And then a long, full breath out. Good. Inhale, stretch the right leg high. Exhale, bend the knee, open up through your hip. Take a little circle here of your knee, of maybe of your ankle, spreading the toes. Good. Inhale, reach it on up when you're ready. Big stretch. And then exhale, breath. We're going to take it forward. Take a big step forward. Lower the back knee to the earth. Feel your hips drop down. Lift the heart. You can have your fingertips here on the earth by your sides. Or maybe you bring your hands to your knee. Pressing the hands into the knee. Lifting the heart open and breathing. It's staying right here, or maybe you take your arms up, only if that's feeling good to you, arms up towards the sky. Feel the tailbone drop down. Pull the right hip back a little bit, and then lift the heart up. And like it was going over an imaginary high jump. Take one more inhale breath. Good job, you guys. And exhale, sprinkle your fingertips down by your sides. Breathe in, lift the heart forward. And then breathing out, we're going to send it back, coming into a half Hanuman position. So straightening through the leg, taking a nice breath in, lift the heart forward. Good. And exhale, send it forward. So heart forward, folding in. And just breathing right here. And it doesn't matter what it looks like, just how is it feeling? And if it feels good to you, walk your fingertips forward. And you might even just rock the hips a little side to side. Good. When you're ready, gazing forward, bend into your front knee. And we're going to either step through hands and knees. You can step through hands and knees position or straight back to downward facing dog. Take exactly what you need here. Press to the palms, into the earth. Press through your feet. Take a deep, full breath in. And let it go. Just let the breath go. Big exhale. 
Inhale, left leg stretches to the sky. Bending the knee open, stack the hips. Little circles here if that's feeling good through your knee, maybe through the ankle. And as you're ready, inhale, reach it on up. Big stretch, good, exhale, breath, big step forward. Now you can always, I didn't say this on the other side, but you can always use the hand to help guide the foot forward. Bringing your fingertips down by your sides, letting the hips drop down. You might stay right here. This is a good place to be. You might bring your hands to your knee if that's feeling good. And just letting the heart open. Pressing into the thigh to lift the heart away from the thigh. You might stay right here or inhale, sweep the arms up. Mm, feel the tailbone drop down, lift up and out of the low back, lifting the heart. Really nice. So one more inhale, reach long through your fingertips. And exhale, fingertips sprinkle down to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest forward. Really nice. And we're going to just send it back here into that half splits, half Hanuman position. Take an inhale, lift the heart, and then leading with your heart, fold in, forward and down. Breathing here, if it feels good. You did so on the other side, walk your hands forward and maybe, you know, just rocking it a little side to side. Just noticing what's here, that curiosity and playfulness and last few breaths here soften the shoulders soften your jaw really nice gazing forward bend back into your front knee coming into hands and knees tabletop Shake it out here a little bit, side to side. Maybe forward and back. And just noticing what's feeling good, letting that go. Really nice. And we'll bring the legs forward, out in front. And very gingerly, just coming on to your back here. When you're ready, hugging your knees into your chest, into your heart. And just taking some little rocks, little side to side. Feeling the back body, getting a nice massage from the ground. And just saying thank you to your amazing body. And we'll close our practice before Shavasana with a twist. So you can tee your arms out to the side. Shift your hips just a little to the right. And exhale, dropping both knees to the left. Very simple twist. Now if you can bring this left hand to the thigh and just helping that guide the heart to twist open. Feeling your right shoulder root down. Nice deep breaths here, twisting. You can imagine rinsing the spine. It's like a sponge. Really nice. And as you're ready, taking your time back through center. Shifting your hips to go the other way towards the left and we're coming into the other side. So dropping the knees to the right. Maybe that right hand rests on top of the thighs. Just gentle guidance. All right. And saying nice things to ourselves as we practice yoga. 
as we show up here. Mm, feeling the spaciousness of your breath as your left shoulder grounds. Together, taking one more sweet breath in. And all the way out, let it go. Taking your time, come back through center. And unraveling, we're simply going to extend the legs out long. And so coming into our final resting pose here with Shavasana. And let your toes flap out to the sides. Slide your shoulder blades just a little under your heart. And take a deep, full breath in through your nose. Let it out. Big breath out. <sighs> Feeling little ripples spread throughout the body, through your fingers, through your toes. Maybe taking little movements there. And if it feels good, you might inhale and extend your arms up and overhead. Big stretch. Mm. When you're ready, it's gingerly rolling to one side. And making your way on up into a comfortable seated position. No rush. And as you sit tall, and roll your shoulders again down your spine. Feeling your heart lifted. Noticing the space between your shoulders. The space between your ears. And in gratitude, gathering the hands into the heart and bowing inwardly into yourself, thanking yourself for your practice here today. Namaste.